welcome to the RPG Blender, where we give lesser played games or forgotten settings the roll of the dice they deserve. I'm your host, Game Master George, thrilled to welcome you to the next chapter in our adventure. Our heroes have fought off the cult, but lost their young charge. Can they find her before Nexus falls to shadow? Find out as we explore a new land of power and ancient secrets in Exalted of Cults and Monkeys. Welcome to the RPG Blender. I'm, of course, Game Master George, and joining me today, we have Craig. Say hello, Craig. Howdy, howdy, gang. We have Rich. Say hello, Rich. Howdy, 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 gang. We have Greg. Say hello, Greg. Howdy, 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 gang. And we have Ed. Say howdy, Ed. Howdy, 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 gang. Oh. Finally! <laughs> I found where I belong. <laughs> You can stay. Howdy. Thank you. Oh, it We've feels reached so critical good. howdy mass. It's never too many howdies. Really, truly, no. And today we return to the world of Exalted. When last we left our whatever you would call them. I would not call us heroes. Call us not heroes. heroes. No. Definitely heroes. <laughs> Absolutely heroes. They had heroes. brought... A mess now. <laughs> they had brought young Arvia from her trials under the ground and met Hierarch Devora, who implored them to protect her and to keep her out of the clutches of Hierarch Artemisia Sapphire. They then went to go deliver her to the palace district, hoping that they would be able to find a way to contact the Emissary, a mysterious person or force that protects the city of Nexus. However, on their way there, they were jumped by a group of cultists. As they fought the cultists down, some of them began rising again as zombies. And in the chaos, when the cult finally broke, Arvia was found to be gone. Though they chased the one that appeared to be her, her form melted away, revealing yet another cultist. The cultist then slit his throat, and our circle were left to find where she has gone. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was me in and out of character, just so you know. Strings uh, on top of Invincible 2 is just looking around like, what do you mean she's fucking gone? I, I followed I followed who I thought was her into a, an alleyway, and it turned out to be a cultist. Slid his throat before my eyes. How could this happen? We're smarter than this. Apparently mm. not. not. Don't be so hard on yourself. He's a new death cult. We, we've dealt with rich people, monsters, fae. Death cult's new. Yeah. Well, what is our plan of action? Because as it stands, um, I'm not going to get paid if we don't find this girl. So does anybody have any ability to um, uh, magically find out where she is? Aren't you a... Uh, yeah, uh, go for it. I can uh, track her. I'm just asking if we have an easier solution. Any of you have any of that magic stuff? I can help you track. Also, point of reference, if we do not find her, the whole city dies, probably. Well, then we better get going. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, do a tracking roll of some kind. Okay. I'm going to pick up the um, uh, cowl, and I'm going to smell it, and then try and uh, help him. The cowl melted away with the form. Oh, it's fake too? There's, n yes. there's nothing real in this world. Which is why okay. the, Son of a biscuit. the color did not match, mm. which was what initially clued him in. Uh, anyway, so you can make me a perception awareness or perception investigation to try to pick up the trail. I'm gonna After you. I'm gonna do perception awareness, and I have uh, crowds. Is that affect the fact? That, like, no. if I if I'm there's looking, there's no longer a crowd there. So there's no longer a crowd. Damn. Okay, so that's six, and that was actually not terrible. That's three. Three successes. Okay. With three successes, you begin picking your way through the mangled bodies, attempting to find a trail. You are not able to pick up her trail. However, you do find something strange. One of the cultists is dead slightly further away from where you were fighting them. And the cause of death was not an arrow, a hoof, or even exploding obsidian owls. It was a bite. Two fang marks. I would love... Uh, over here, um, I think I found something. Uh, we've got this uh, little chap over here. He seems to have died and not by our hands. Not quite sure what to do with that. Where's your monkey? Uh, he's over there. He was looking for the girl. Um, he'll be back in a minute. It's feeding time for him soon. He returns. Oh, well, oh. Just making sure it's not his fangs. That's all. I don't know. Good. No, boy. these are very human-sized fangs. Uh, can I do lore or occult on this by any chance? Uh, you could attempt. You could attempt lore. Sweet. I'm good at that one. Uh, what do I add to this? Uh, intelligence lore. Sick. All right. So that's going to be 
Uh, three successes. Okay. Uh, you're not certain what would have caused this. Uh, there's no tales of anything like that in this area. I mean, there are, there are things that eat people. I mean, you've heard, of course, of vampires, but there does not appear to have been any draining of blood. It's simply the person was bitten and is now no longer living. You've heard stories of people being bitten and drained of life near sh near the shadow land around thorns. But that's about it. Well, we're like in a city right now, right? Correct. You are not in a shadow oh. land. In my professional medical opinion, Opinion. I have no idea what this is. Oh, that is terribly useful. Um, do you know of anyone who might know? Is there a no, mystic in town? <laughs> Actually, I should know this. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I, uh, I've been here longer. Can I make a, some kind of knowledge roll to see if I would know anybody in town who would be able to identify a mark of this nature? Sure. Hmm. You can make me a either lore or survival intelligence roll. Uh, lore is one. Survival is also one. And intelligence is one. So whatever I do, that's going to be 2d8. So let's just... Uh, two, or sorry, 2d10. Two um, uh, we'll make it a lore because that just seems more fitting. And I got one success. That's, that's 50%. Like that. That's great. That's good. <laughs> Uh, there are probably people who know more than you do. Uh, the people who know the most in the city are probably the hierarchs themselves. But aside from that, you're not really certain. Uh, you don't know of a specific person. What was uh, the place? They said no, don't go. Don't go there. They said don't do not go to this place. His uh, the the child's father said don't go to the fire blower district or something like that. Or... Well, you just, when I found you, you were in the Fire Wanderer district, so I'm not quite certain if that's what you're referring to, but, um... Maybe. The best course of action, I would assume, would be return to Hierarch Devora. Uh, she would be certainly capable to determine what sort of magics this is. Of course, <laughs> it would be rather poor to return to the person who hired us to protect a girl without the girl, um, uh, especially since we were looking for her father. Perhaps we could continue looking for her father, and if we find him, he may be able to lend us assistance. Um, Are there, there is one more thing I could do. Hold for one moment. You hear, approaching from the distance, very heavy footprint, foot, uh, footsteps. footsteps, very heavy footsteps, and many of them. It's going to be the girls. Many? Many. Do they I, sound like they have armor? Yes. Oh, I'm going to climb be. up the wall immediately to get a closer look. I'm just immediately going to scurry up the wall um, and survey uh, to see if I can spot who's approaching. Just to give us a okay. little forewarning if it is military, if it is more cultists, if it is town guard. Okay. Or whatnot. George, while uh, the long pontification of our situation was being had, could Lau have been studying the corpse? Sure. Uh, intelligence lore? Uh, yes. What is it you're trying to gather? Uh, any further disseminating details about the wounds, uh, about the specific individual, um, just taking in any items of note about them. Okay. I'm just fishing, man. I'm fishing. Great. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Nidala, you climb the uh, building and you're able to see what looks like a mercenary company approaching. Um, I uh, whistle to uh, Uber. Uh, Go down and tell them. It appears to be a mercenary company of some kind. Uh, <laughs> jumps. Cl the monkey climbs down to you guys mercenaries mercenaries uh I'm trying to look around. Is is there anyone looking outside their windows and stuff like that after that total shit show that just went on? No, everybody has very much closed the windows and moved away from them to avoid the murder. <laughs> like no one's peeking at all. No. Damn it. You smart bastard. There's fucking owls <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> In fact, many of the buildings around have been pierced by owl shards. There are probably injured people inside. Oh come oh. on! I'm a little I'm a little more refined when I fire my ball. <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh five successes five successes jesus That's nice okay um as you are studying it it's not telling you so much what might have caused this this is still something that's very unusual but you can see that the cause of death was not draining of blood or anything like that it appears to have been a draining of pure life essence oh. almost as if it drank its soul okay mm. uh i think the monkey has a point we should probably leave when a monkey tells me to do something, who am I to deny? Thank you! Thank you! Oh, God. 
Um, other than that, uh, as we're like leaving, I just kind of like pick up uh, one of the cultists as if it were a kitten, flip it upside down, and I pull off one of their shoes and then just drop the body onto the ground and just walk away with the group. He's collecting their shoes. Take oh, wow. a shoe. One of the shoes. Okay. I'm sure it's fine and normal. Okay. Sh- sure. Leave it up to Rich. He'll find something to do with it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I, know. I trust this man. Implicitly. I'm glad he's on our side. <laughs> Uh, anyway, and where is there is, is is the alleyway closed off or is there a continuing path? There's a continuing path. Then uh, Lau will motion to that way and start taking off. I nod and motion for everyone else to come with and keep going. Okay. Uh, Nidala will whistle to have Uba scurry back up to under his shoulder and then he'll make his way along the rooftops, sort of following the, the body of the group, but keeping watch from above. Okay. Right. I will take deck stealth checks from all of you to <laughs> evade no, these. No. <laughs> uh, do I do anything different since I'm on a gigantic? horse <laughs> that's a good question i feel like i shouldn't have asked it but uh in fairness i probably should right uh, no you're uh, a good hey, manipulation hey, ride my guy oh sick oh hell yeah so that that's means invincible way better quiet than me yeah i got eight dice for that <laughs> well it's not so much being quiet in his case it's stepping in the right places not crushing anything and... he's a smart horse that i'm good at it's the other thing <laughs> this is a this is a group role, right? This is an individual. It's uh, right. This is an individual, and you need a certain number of successes for the group. What is that number? <laughs> it's a number. Let me tell you guys, you ain't got it from me. Uh, I got <laughs> two out of eight. <laughs> well, let's see. I got five out of ten. Hey, Whoa! that's your boy. I got two. That's nine out of five. And how many did you get, Rich? Um, as. <laughs> As Rakeem is making his way down the alleyway, he's that like, good, oh, huh? there's so many carts and things, and he, like, accidentally knocks over, like, a bread thing, and you've never seen him knock over anything. He's like, it's just so tight in here. I'm, I'm trying. Ah, I'm just, uh, you're good. Uh, did you get zero? I'll get down there, please. Yeah, that's a... The answer is zero. I got a bunch of sixes. <laughs> I got I got nothing. I got did you roll any ones? No. All sixes okay, and so it is not a I did remember if I totally fuck up. Yes. But no. This With the number of dice that you guys roll, it is rare that this is going to happen. But if the number of ones that you roll outnumber your successes, that's a botch. Oh, good to know. Yeah, we, we did that. Shadow run rules. Got it. Hmm? Okay. Okay. It might actually be if you just roll none and any ones, but whatever. I think the other that one would definitely outnumber sense. your successes. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you begin making your way through the streets away from the foots, uh, the footfalls, and you hear it begin to change direction. That you hear the calamity as they fa- find the scene. And they begin fanning out through the city, trying to find other people who were involved. Everyone wash your hands. <laughs> uh, uh, Nadala will make his way down from the... Uh, uh, to answer your question, Ed, the target number was 10. Yeah, I had a feeling we missed we it. We made one. it, though, right? You had we, nine. We had nine. We missed it by one. Oh, I thought Craig put us above. Fuck. No, no that's way. why I was asking Rich. She was like, Rich, you are only hope. <laughs> yep, nope, that's fair. All right, well, poopy. Yeah, that's a technical nice term. Dexterity and no successes. Okay. Uh, uh, we will continue just trying to, or Lao at least, will guide the group towards just distancing farther away from the uh, I- encounter, uh, looking towards Nadala and just saying, uh, how about finding us just a, a quiet place for a moment before to sort of recollect our thoughts? Very well. I may know the place that is perfect for such a place. I really hope that's true. Lead the way. Um, George, may I do yes. something? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, should I private message you this or? Oh, he gonna kill us all. If, yeah, 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 is it? No, I ask, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I ask you that can, you spare my horse, so. Can the three of you mute yourself, mute the audio so that you do not hear what I talk with him? So this way, I don't need to have people re-record stuff like with the paranoia one. Uh, done and done. <laughs> and then I'll do this when it's time to rejoin. Wait okay. for your signal. Um, so, uh, I have a cult. Um, <laughs> do they have any base of operations around here that I could use to house our well, people? Well, here's your choice. You can base them here if you would like. Where would you like to base them? You can base them here, but then they won't be able to help you in other locations if you travel oh, around creation. True, 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 true. Ah, uh, fudge. So which, I'm going to give which... you the opportunity. If you would like to establish that this is their base, you can. If you don't want to and you want to save that for later, you can do that as well. Shoot. And they're only, I only have one point in the cult, so I assume they can only have one yeah. base. Is that so it would be works? small. You would need to build it again somewhere else. Crap, 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 crap. 
Oh, man. Uh, this isn't necessarily a bad place for it. Nexus is a pretty central location. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Okay, yeah, let's do it. You know, gotta, okay. gotta do it, right? <laughs> then you're ready? Yeah, I assume sure. I assume that means you're going to lead them to your cult hideout. Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, then I'm yeah, going to call them back in. Very badly. Okay. You guys crazy. You guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is one thing that is a big improvement over in person. Mm. Yeah, it would have been weird if we... Well, I, I guess... I was going to say, yeah, it would have been really weird if the three of us had to leave the room, but really, you two would have left the room, probably. Yeah, yeah. But, but I've I already forgotten how these things we, work. Where's the recording setup? Oh, that's it's in a, the room. So we would yeah, have had to leave the room. Paranoia secret, secret like, missions. Mm. I sent the other ones out of the room every time to discuss their secret missions. That's yeah, fun. we'd all go to the bathroom together. Or you'd Van Gogh yourselves and just reattach it after. <laughs> anyway, what do you do? Um, and Nidala uh, gestures to the three of them. I have a place that we can lay low for a little bit, watch for this to blow over, and hopefully recuperate ourselves, but you have to promise that you won't go telling anyone, okay? <laughs> of course, we're working together. Well, uh, frankly, who are we going to tell? Uh, That's a good question, and I'm glad you didn't consider answering it. Very well, follow me. <laughs> okay. And I, I, I lead them to the place. Let's him lead, okay. gives, gives a quick look to Strings and Rakeem before following. All right, Nadala leads you through the streets of Nexus. Uh, would you like to describe the location oh, and boy. the individuals there? Uh, Please be mom's house. Please be mom's I house. Actually, be mom's I actually, I haven't house. really <laughs> Definitely given a whorehouse. as much thought Definitely as Definitely a whorehouse. <laughs> this is your chance. All right, it's on the spot. <laughs> oh man, yeah, let's just do it. Why not? Um, so you arrive, uh, at the outside of a building, um, that looks kind of innocuous at first. Um, the only thing that's really of note is that most of the windows are boarded up or covered with like sheets or something so that no light gets in there. Um, and then there is, uh, a, a sturdy, uh, door, much nicer looking door than some of the wooden doors that you've seen around, uh, definitely made out of, uh, a thicker, uh, type of wood. Um, and it is much more ornately carved, uh, and uh, in the center of it is a spectacular knocker, like uh, the little bangy thingies. So those are called knockers, right? I'm not yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and <laughs> it's it just is the phrase well, spectacular knocker. Spectacular right, knocker. I, I was like, that, that's I knew it was a whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Um, Harley. Uh, and it is it is carved and uh, in the symbol of my house sinus. Uh, and uh, and yeah, I go up to it and I I give it a little rap. And uh, who answers the door? Uh, a person uh, wearing a very large hood, uh, a similar kind of color to the same shawl that I'm wearing, but the hood uh, goes into big, nice flowing robes that cover their entire body, and they have, like, the Darth Sidious look going on, kind of. Um, <laughs> And uh, they they answer it, and it's and it's a, a male from what it appears. You can't see much of them from uh, the coverings, but it's definitely a male. <gasps> Nidala, please welcome, welcome. Come inside, please, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I have some friends who will be joining us uh, just for the moment. Um, don't consider them as as close as you would our other brothers, but for now they shall be recuperating here. Of course, any friend of yours is welcome here in the house. Thank you. Can I gesture inside? Please. We'll show you to the master's chamber. Okay. Uh, and he leads you through the house to uh, a fairly nice room. Yes. Uh, it appears to be a sitting room with a connected bedroom. Basically what would look like a miniature apartment within this building itself. How big is this place? Mm -hmm. uh, on the out, it, it seemed like it was not going to be very large on the outside. However, when you get inside and are looking around, it actually appears that they've knocked down walls between a uh, few adjacent buildings buildings to take over the adjacent spaces and uh t high ceilings or are we talking average uh, n n no uh rakim still needs to uh squat a little <laughs> yeah he's he's fine i'm used to few buildings oh, where did I are leave... built for 10 feet where did i leave invincible if i can fit invincible can i was about to say if he if <laughs> nobody in. tells me I can, in. he's coming in the house <laughs> we we can't leave any signs of our activity uh, out and about the horse has to come in yes invincible well, it's certainly in. a sign of our activity. <laughs> Um, brother, y you may, uh, take, lead, lead, please lead this horse, uh, to the worship hall. Should be large enough to accommodate it. Of course. And he will t lead Invincible away from strings? Make sure he has water, plenty to eat. I turn to Nadal and I go, if anything happens to that horse, I swear to God, nothing it's your lay, head. Nothing will lay oh, a hand on your horse, I swear of it. Your horse will be granted all 
all the luxuries that the House of Nadala can afford. As well as I would be treated. Better, better than I would be treated. Oh, believe Sorry. me, animals in this place are treated much better than the human. <sighs> I'm just I'm not used to being apart Good. from my... If the chimp says yes, then I have to believe it. Is that a thing? <laughs> Another person uh, in I just an wink. identical robe <laughs> has come up with a tray of fruits for uh, Uba and has begun feeding them to Uba one at a time. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Is this man trying to poison the monkey? <laughs> what do I roll? Give me something. <laughs> Uh, that would, uh, wits, it, it, wits, uh, socialize, wits, oh, wits awareness. No. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that. I don't want uh, to know what's going on. Actually. No. Yeah. 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 It would be, um, it would be sure. Wits, uh, which social, wits socialize. Uh, is this upper class or is this more like religiousy? This seems weird. Yeah. <laughs> I think religious it's a is a more kind religious -y. Religious -y. Okay, so I'm not going to get my extra dime. Culty but... feels more, but... Yeah, a little culty. Definitely a little culty. Uh, <laughs> a lot of culty. Culty. One, two, three. You affront me, good sir. Fuck yeah. Uh, five. That's not five allowed. successes. Yeah. What's your perception versus your wits? Uh, They're one different. Wits is slightly better. Okay, then I'll let you have it, because technically it's perception, but I don't care enough. What was yeah, your boy. successes? Uh, five. Uh, I can go down to four, though, if you would have preferred me to use one fewer die. No. Okay. No, I don't care. You are uh, there a is God. a bit of there's a bit of an adoring way that they are approaching Uba. So it, it, yes, it, <laughs> get angrier. From there, that? There's a bit of reverence. <laughs> you should feel better about this. It's exactly what a murderer would do. <laughs> um, I, I don't say anything, but I'm like <laughs> fucking watching this guy. <laughs> okay, Nidala, did they say all the luxuries? of House of Nadala, as in... Uh, yeah, your... Yes, of course. Um, this is my house, and these are my servants. Uh, they shall be taking care of us temporarily while we uh, rest and recuperate, and then we shall be out there looking for the girl, as we should be. Um, so what is the game plan? Let's establish this. Well, can... let's just resources. recuperate a little sec for a quick second, just to clarify. This is all yours. Uh, yes, of course. I told you I've been in this town for some time now, and as you can see, I'm a man of wealth and privilege. Um, I am here, and that is all that you need to know. He has a talking monkey. It was expected. I'm a little better at sniffing out your kind. I'm surprised. Impressed, really. I'm just curious, why would someone of taking in the surroundings, your status be doing odd oh, well, jobs? I, I, got, I got bored, of course. I mean, really, honestly, it is quite dull just staying inside and having grapes fed to you. Uh, for me, at least. For Uber, he, he prefers it. Don't you, don't you, Uber? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but really, honestly, uh, I prefer to be out and about in the fresh air. Ugh, I hate that Greg thought of the idea of having George play his monkey before I did. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. That's really um, fucking good. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, that's, uh, very interesting. You are aware, uh, there may be a certain amount of unwanted attention potentially brought here now. As long as we did our job right, that shouldn't be the case, but, uh, are there any precautions you should be taking to make sure that, I don't know... An excellent, excellent idea. Um, Brother Mathis, please. <clears throat> Can you make some arrangements to make sure that no unwanted guests are intruding upon uh, me and my esteemed colleagues here for the time being? Of course. Our brothers will be happy to give their lives in service of the great Nidala. Excellent. Uh, really, lives are not necessary at the moment. Just a fruit stand in front of the door. Just the usual, just sort of humdrum. Try to make it look like it's not really a place of residence. We will gather the cabbages, yes. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Feel like a good guy? <laughs> oh, yes, he's, he's excellent. And the cabbages are pretty good, too, I must say. So, uh, I'm looking over the shoe that I took. Okay. Um, so what I'm looking for specifically, uh, just so I let you know ahead of time, um, I'm looking for like the dirt and stuff like on it. Is it sewage? Is it graveyard? Yeah. Dirt? Is it cobblestone Ooh. dirt? I'm looking for a specific Ooh. type of mud. Like I, I can't get my shoe very muddy in a city unless I'm in a place with a lot of dirt or if it's like shit mud, then I'm in the sewers. Okay. Give me an intelligence investigation. I hope you're intelligent. Can I smell it? Can I smell the dirt? <laughs> 
<laughs> Smell it. I don't know if it'll help. But yeah, I don't do anything for That's survival. It's done. <laughs> Listen, uh, it, it, awareness a... will help you find things, but it's not going to help you know like what type of thing it is. How much? Shit so if you were to it? use that, you could probably find similar if you were to be in the area of it. It's not this shit. We got to go. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're trying to stunt, you should probably taste it. I think you should probably taste. Oh, I'm it. definitely doing that. I'm. Oh yeah, and you can have, you can have two dice shoe. for your everything. You can have the two eat, dot stunt. Fucking pound that shit. Yeah. Um, I do tell every. I, I do shotgun the shoe. <laughs> I'm also going to out loud be like, it, "Don't my tell us where they are? Might be sewer mud." Oh, oh, oh no 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 no! You don't have to eat the. Sh I said there was cabbage and, and grapes. You don't. Why are it, you? No, I, that? I'm, I'm doing to see if it's sewer mud, graveyard mud, city mud. I to put get a ready. hand on Nadal and I go, Rakim is a master of his craft. <laughs> Let the man work. He's a man. I hope I prove you uh, super wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, As he's licking a guy's This is poop. just you. I, guys, you're smarter. Why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I did get four successes against all odds. And that was with the... Um... That was with... The, wait, do I get an automatic success? Yes. Okay, then I got five successes. Mm. Okay. But that is with two dice, and then you gave me dice. That is the only reason I got that. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, the dirt that you taste, it has a very particular scent about it. A scent of death. There is... It's very clearly from some kind of area close to the underworld, where the underworld can leak through into this world. So, a shadow land would make sense as a source for this. So, if there, if this is from a member of this town and is still on their shoes, it makes sense that there is some kind of small shadow land already in this town. Mm. It seems that they've been uh, at least lightly successful in bringing Shadowlands into this world. A uh, few tastes of uh, stagnation, death, uh, stillness that uh, you do not find here. Great. They have already succeeded in bringing some of the Shadowland out. Uh, this is not the worst thing because we are here and we are aware of them. Uh, I would think it is a very bad thing because before the fear was they would use her to catalyze an opening into the Shadowland. That it exists might mean that it is worse. So they could use her to make it much worse rather than well, just getting it to exist. That is quite unfortunate. It also means that we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Very well. We need to find her as soon as possible. <sighs> well, uh, can I turn to call another one of the uh, um, uh, people of the house uh, over? Yes, you could say it. You could say followers. You could. We know now. Now it's cultists. The the servants. Servants. Yes. <clears throat> uh, you there? Sorry, I didn't think I quite recognize you. Yes, Master Nadala. Um, can you gather up some of our? your fellow brothers and sisters, and have them fan out across the city. We're looking for any signs of a girl with a blue cloak. Um, we are also looking for perhaps any of the members. Uh, I just vaguely described the uh, cultists that attacked us. Um, if you see any of them, um, please report back here immediately. Nadala, is there a place in the city where people do not go a lot? If I was to open the, the thorny shadowland somewhere, I, I would need to make sure that people do not stumble upon it. Well, this is so a very large city, um, and unfortunately there are many places. What I'm saying, be in a shop in the likelihood. It would have to either be in a district that is not well seen, or somewhere very out of sight. I see what you're getting at. Um, I make a roll, I guess, to determine what I <laughs> think. I don't know. That I don't. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, you can give me, again, that intelligence uh, survival or intelligence lore. Do Shadowlands not like sunlight? I don't know. And I look at my group members because I don't know anything about this stuff. That would be an intelligence lore question. Let's do it. Come on, you guys with your brains. I got zero successes because I am not intelligent. I am. You are not aware of any place. I mean, there are graveyards, yeah. but. There's like the sewer. There's like graveyards. There could be um, abandoned shops in towns, abandoned like keeps. I, I, I don't know. There's, there's plenty of places. I, this is my alcove here. No one 
doesn't bother me. I mean, I you're can't really... doing very well. We appreciate the help you've given. Just because you don't know something does not mean you have failed us. You're doing well, Nadal. Ed, you throwing dice at that Shadowlands investigation? Uh, I'm not sure that I can, mostly because I got here like three days ago. No, no I got no, here like Shadowlands. Today. Shadowlands is a different thing. Shadowlands is like. Oh, a... sorry. Yeah. Okay, in he that asked case, the question um, about if light is bad for Shadowlands. I misunderstood. I thought we were looking for them locally. My bad. Uh... In that case. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm glad I, I asked Shadowlands. Yo. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yes, can confirm. Um, super bad. It sounded like it was called Shadowlands, so that makes sense, but wanted to be sure. Okay, so it's a place that sunlight also should not hit, and it can't be easy for sunlight to hit, otherwise they would be... So it's not going to be like in a hut or something like that. You could just knock over the straw roof, yeah? Yes. Um, as far as our... Uh, plan course of action, though. So, to give you the little more knowledge, because you got a six, so a yes is probably a little less. Oh, we were taking it. We were, we were totally so, fine with that. We were, we were hungry little we less. A Shadowland exists as somewhat of a middle ground between creation and the underworld. So sunlight is bad for it, yes, but it's also not commonly there because it's not actually part of creation any longer. The sun cannot touch it. That said, the creation of one would probably have to be done at night or in a place that is dark. Are there any side effects to Shadowlands being existing like uh gross water uh maybe like uh chicks being like not born right or steel born animals and stuff things that make things not good well, i can tell something... you lots of the chicks around here they seem pretty fine if you ask me oh i like this guy <laughs> something that would stick out uh, of the ordinary i look uh, at uh strings <laughs> uh i look behind me as if there is something else he's looking at oh if you're looking for the food platter here Food, please. No, that's quite all right. Send it to my horse. Um, you don't know of anything in particular. It's pretty much just a place of death, so death follows it. So it could just be attributed to death cultists anyway, if, even if there was a negative side effect. Hmm. Do the death cultists literally just worship death, or are they worshiping something else? The like Night something Stalker more specific? Or something, yeah, the Night Slider? Is that it? The walker Night Slider? In darkness, I believe. Walker the Walker in darkness. darkness. I had a Night Slider three days ago. I still feel mm. it. Ooh. Mm. Um, you were told that it was a that they worshipped some powerful spirit known as the Walker in Darkness. Yeah, okay. it is it. Cool. I believe there are two courses of action for us at this point. Uh, either we attempt the... In investigative approach and try and deduce where some of these cultists were find out where their normal place of, of, of residence is or we continue on our path and try and find the emissary perhaps he can help us push further with his resources at hand to get arvia we might be able to make a more radical jump in this city if he truly is a force for this city he is missing though he is missing we have no leads on him well we were going to the palace district for a reason that was our direction. What? How long until nightfall? A uh, couple hours, not long. Actually, it was already dusk, so yeah, uh, it's getting late. I do not want to be pessimistic, but I feel like we have less time than more time. So we need to think of where she could be and get there quickly. Well, the first directive was to protect her and keep her out of their hands. This is what has to be done. Sure, but we are running low on directions right now. And unless, motions to Nidala, our uh, guide here has any better leads, uh, I'm not familiar with this city. Well, now that the mercenaries have left the area, I can return there and we can try and track her down. Um, I imagine that the not very stealthy a group of cultists armed with daggers and kitchen knives um i can definitely try and follow their footsteps the problem is the mercenary group is probably still lurking around and we don't really know who they're allied with wow do you think that the death cultists are the ones who tried to kill us with the copper um, I'm, I'm sorry i beg your pardon that's certainly possible uh we, we imply also that they exist inside multiple facets in different places i mean based on what uh hierarch uh devora said uh i believe that hierarch sapphire is potentially in line with those cultists so it would stand a reason that uh, they hang on. no she was taught uh, she indicate she intimated that the, she was in line with the fair folk not different, the cultists two different factions. fair folk chaotic yes. creatures not the death cult okay yes mm -hmm. It's possible. Mm. Though, so, why if would this is something that permeates the society, this city, then 
which seems to have, you know, both good, and I point at a dollar, and bad cults, you know, just around. Uh, um, hmm. Hey, I say good. You are a good master. And I mean that with all sincerity. You're a good man. You yes, they, they definitely love you here. Well, uh, there, there is absolute sense. Who, yeah, who I know, not I, love it? Of course, I, Nidal, I agree with you. This is a good place. You treat your people well. I need to think. Uh, Nidal is going to uh, sort of <laughs> go up the banister of the stairs and sort of dangle from the railing upside down by his feet, kind of like in a meditative position, sort of upside down. He's just going to think. Nice. Mm. All right. Just kind of look up at that and go... I do that sometimes too when nobody's this is, looking. This is not surprising <laughs> to me. Hang upside down from Invincible 2. If this is a well known secret, then maybe we talk to people. Maybe people know places that they know, oh, you don't go here, you go missing. If this is a dead cult, they're probably not just killing themselves. And if they have enough people around and about, the, enough to fucking pour a, a ton of copper down a fucking pipe on us, that's not a little bit of power. Beyond this not being afraid of death, which brings its own power, but eh, this could be one of those. So maybe we just have to speak to people, try and figure out what's wrong. Maybe talk to a guard. Say, hey, where, where are the places no one wants to go? Where's the places that people find dangerous? Where have you seen the most murders or missing people that you don't even want to go? If we are going to go the route of... Uh investigation by means of interview i might say two birds with one stone the palace district was where we were going to find leads for the emissary anyway and those there i believe will be people of knowledgeable information that they'd be able to assist us in that regard too anybody who has a pulse on this situation uh they probably would have a pulse on the emissary or this cult my concern is only that in the palace district is probably not where people would be afraid of a death cult. Well, if something's dangerous to you and yours, you're at least going to keep it in line of sight, would you not? I might not be aware of it if I was in the palace district. I agree with uh, <clears throat> the the smaller one. I think we should probably try to uh, find this emissary, and in the meantime, my uh, compatriots here can suss out where the girl may have disappeared to. That way, we are not losing any time searching while they're searching. We can try and kill two birds with one stone. Well, maybe we... Just a thought at the very end of this. Maybe we try to kill two birds with the same stone. The girl was somewhat powerful, yes. Is there any way we can trace her power directly? I asked that, that at the beginning. I said if anyone had magic. You, you're not going to pull out magic now, are you? Because I'm not ask. saying that we necessarily have magic. Maybe we don't, but somebody might. Well, the hierarch, of course, but, uh, I mean... Not really sure if we should return back to her. <sighs> Wait! Big double switch! Say more words about that. The other hierarch hired us to go get girl. We go get girl. Girl, get kidnapped. We come up and she get kidnapped by death cultists. You have to help us get her quickly. All of a sudden, we have resource of guild looking for a girl with us. Oh, we are looking for a girl. We are looking for a girl. We find girl with them. We do not let them bring to uh, bad fae people. We save her. Probably have to beat up a lot of guild people. Probably have to fight some fae people. It's going to be a lot of fighting. Do you want to piss off everybody? Yes? Is that, is that right? I want to save girl and city. Uh, Pissing off people is irrelevant at this point. We have stepped in it, as it were, yeah? Well, I don't know about you. I intended to stay in this city for some time afterwards. I'd prefer if there were less people looking for my head. Uh, that's just me, of course. Um, you just but... have to finish job, friend. Also, the like really a big only old be... bite of apple. Just the whole Wh apple. Which do you think they'd be more pissed at? If you accomplished the job with some complications, or if you failed the job completely? Which is, at the moment, sort of what we're staring down the barrel of. Now, hold on a second. I think there's a compromise to both of these points. Mm -hmm. uh, Nadala, you weren't hired for our initial task. Mm -hmm. Myself, Strings, and Rakim was. So it would be viable for us to go and begin this conversation, try and get them moving in the right direction. However, the other side to this is uh, Hierarch Sapphire was less than amenable when we were working with her to begin with. This is understatement. And if someone else was the result of my copper foot, uh, then that would be one thing, but I think we would be remiss to ignore the fact that it could have been her. 
I think Is that, that she... I'm not quite certain. What are you referring to when you say your couple? So she, so Hierarch hired us to go get girl. Yes, um, to bring her back. We were then attacked very early on. And attacked, I mean, someone took one of those big vats of molten metal, poured them into a hole, and it sloshed down hole toward us. Not oh. a little bit of money or manpower required to do either of those things. It's a very expensive trap, as it were. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, I would, yeah. Um, I tried to install those before, but it... they just they didn't work. We <laughs> ended up just getting water, hot water. Good call, good call, way better. Um, it wouldn't make sense for her to do that because she was trying to beat the Fae. If the Hobgoblins had gotten away with the girl, then she would not have been paid, which is all she cares about, is being paid. She wanted us to get there and bring girl back. At a minimum, the uh, disposition that she I, had. I agree with you. I believe that I, I certainly enjoy the idea of a bit of a uh, what did you what did you call it again, Rakeem? The big double switch. Yes, I do enjoy the idea of a big double switch. However, I think that that might be more risk than reward. I agree. So we go to Palace District. We ask about girl first and emissary, but girl is primary. Yes. Sure. I agree. Yes. I I, I think we can handle it all in one foul swoop. Frankly, maybe and as once we get there, divide into pairs and see what we can take care of. All right. I am very good with people. Strings is very good with people. Uh, I'm very good with people as well, I should say. I look around. Seems so. <laughs> as is Uber. Oh, Uber, are you done? <laughs> Come over here, you little scab. Come on. Right up, right up here. Right up my shoulder. There you go. <laughs> he, a little slower, jumps up on your shoulder. Oh, I have quite a bit to eat. And remember, not, not more than 15 grapes. I want you to keep your form. <clears throat> More than 15 grapes, he will keep his form. That's such a specific number. <laughs> Very well. Count. Are we prepared to head out? We should go now, yes. Yeah, time is of the I essence. shall have him fetch your horse for you. Your horse comes. Uh, it appears to have been... He appears to have been? He? Yes? <laughs> he, absolutely. Yes. He. <laughs> he appears to have been... to be masculine. <laughs> meticulously groomed uh, and cleaned in every way that you did they braid clean a him? horse because i do not know how you clean a horse yes his tail uh, has I, been braided yes there are braids in his tail i look at him with my usual wonder and awe with just like a glimmer of more but i try to hide it and i'm like yes good to see that you're back invincible looking absolutely stunning uh and i'm just Shakes trying not to like show how overjoyed shine. i am i just like how beautiful <laughs> they conditioned his mane they gave him fucking fish oil so that his coat has like a sheen very, to it very quietly to allow i'm like we are normal <laughs> <laughs> I just like I just I can't help but just wrap my arms around the horse's neck and just hang on as he starts to like lift his neck up and walk with me just hanging off of him as we leave the house. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna just gonna push you on up onto your horse. Just, uh, like, just there go, you go <laughs> You're a gentleman, and this is scholar, right? truly majestic animal. You otherwise. This truly majestic animal leads you out of the house. Are those mercenaries waiting for us? Uh, there's a cabbage stand waiting for us. There's a yeah, there stand is. For you. Being frequented by two mercenaries. Yes! I kill them with my horse. <laughs> <laughs> they we see us to be... the people in the door before we go out? Or are Horses are looking place? through yes. people. Okay. <laughs> The horse does not see it, but if someone chooses to look out ahead yes, of the I horse... Yes, I would definitely check before we... Oh, I'm definitely not going first. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think... It, isn't it an Invincible 2's choice at this point? Uh, you, uh, Yeah, but, like, Invincible 2 is a, a leader <laughs> in form and, like, beauty, not so much in practice. And doesn't okay. have hands to use doorknobs. <laughs> he can, he <laughs> can open a he's door, so please. Oh he's God. very... <laughs> he's a smart horse. <laughs> So, Nadala, you look out and you do see a pair of mercenaries frequenting the cabbage shop. Do they look like they're, like, just purchasing some cabbages, or do they look like they're looking around? Are they, like, hanging in the area, or are they going to be leaving soon? One of them has uh, their hand on their weapon, like, at their belt, but not, like, in a pulling it, kind of like a resting on it. Like, I could if things go badly, but... Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I'm gonna probably, um, make my way around, uh, or I'm gonna turn on to my friends first. Um, so it appears that there's two guards outside, um, and they're sort of loitering. I can't really have that if we're attempting to make our way out. So I suggest a distraction. Um, this building has been enlarged. Some of the neighboring buildings have been knocked into. I shall simply make my way to one of the side exits, pop my head through there, cause some form of diversion, and then you may make your way out. I'll say, hey, I saw something over here or something to that 
extent, and then we can proceed to the palace district. Why don't we just go out the side door? Um, because your door. horse probably would not fit. You, you probably also wouldn't fit. It's a very tiny. I mean, it's it's a normal sized door. It's just not. You understand. It's not your magnificent front door. Uh, exactly. Ah. Which was still a struggle to get through for both of you. Understood. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we will trust you to make a distraction, then, and we'll just kiss our eyes peeled for it to be done. Do uh, they, yes. they don't know what we look like. Couldn't we just go and be like, hi? Uh, they probably have some idea. They've been asking around. Uh, you are a 10-foot-tall person, and that is a massive horse. Uh, you are which... quite noticeable, Rakeem. Everyone was hiding. <laughs> <laughs> You're still do, an individual. Do the, do the distracting first. I, I, I'll, Go I'll ahead. be right back. Go ahead. Yeah, do that. Do the thing. Kim, okay. you're, still, you're still a 10 foot tall man. Someone I, I, worth I forget talking. sometimes I say as I'm literally like <laughs> crouched inside of like the hallway with like my knees pressing against one end of the hallway and like my I'm, back against the other end. Pat your knee. It's okay, big guy. It's okay. You just wear okay. it so well. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll make my way around to the other side door and I'll exit and uh, I'll like I don't know. Can I make a, how do I make a lot of noise? Well, I'm in the meat district still, right, or or whatever. Uh, is that where your house is located? Uh, it's it's a little further out in the outskirts of it, probably towards the palace district, because I want to associate myself with the you know like we made our way through because we were cutting towards it, so we. So you're in the best the worst neighborhood. Right, yeah, right. We're it. close we're the worst to the rich people. We're close. He's rich adjacent. Yeah, yeah. that's best that's worst word is to probably describe. more accurate than worst best. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn to Uba on my shoulder and I'm going to say routine number sixty two. Um, and then I, I'm going to uh, s- split off from him and, and, and make my way over to the guards while Uba is sort of, you know, hiding uh, behind, a, I don't know, like a nearby meat crate or something. Um, and, all meat crates. Yeah, yeah. You know. The city is full of meat crates. Meat crates, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> One day they'll all be yours. All right, hang um, on. He's Aladdin, not Simba. Right. Por que exactly. no los dos? <laughs> Um, so, so what I'm is going... maneuver blah 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 maneuver 62 so I'm going to start <laughs> running towards the guards and saying uh, there's been a disturbance over there and then he's going to make as much noise and just destroy as much things as possible just making a lot of clutter and shit throwing a lot of bottles yeah. throw so bottles, Uba's going to do that Uba's making you... the noise while I get I fetch the guards because it would be weird if he went to fetch the guards while I made a noise because he's a talking monkey so. now to be clear these are not city guards they are mercenaries uh, yeah so I'm not, I'm not going to be like help help i'm gonna be like there's a there's a very large horse and and a, a very large man and they're, they're they're fighting a bunch of people over there <laughs> bro basically exactly <laughs> what they're looking for bro this uh, is uh, a good plan but i'm still insulted <laughs> just okay, so you, can you know give me a manipulation uh <laughs> manip- <laughs> manipulation socialize no, not socialize. This would definitely be performance. Manipulation, performance. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Specifically deception. Uh, that's how we're getting the views. Well, is there, um, is since, there a deception skill? No, there is feel like Since I'm interact, since, since this involves Uba and he's interacting with the environment, do I get any extra? Yes, you can have a dot, uh, a dot stunt, but this would definitely not be presence. This would not be... Yeah, manipulation. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking manipulation. Well, I, I mean, it's definitely manipulation, so I'll, I'll let you do manipulation socialize if you like. Or, no, manip... Uh, yeah. No. Whatever you want, George. I'm I'd, your I'd, 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 I I'd say performance if he is if he is putting on. I'm I am putting on a charade. Yes. Oh, that's Wrong. fair. I can see that. Manipulation larceny, because that's what it really is. This is a, this is the larceny. illegalish maneuvers. A lot more dice there. Nice. Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> that right. worked. That worked in your favor. Yeah. Um, and that is three successes, and then I get an auto success, or no? Is that not how that works? Uh, no, you can there? have an auto success for that one. I'll Ooh. give you two. Four successes. Oh, you don't have much manipulation, do you? No, I only have two manipulation. How much larceny do you? Have? Three larceny. Did you, much you roll you your have. two dice from your stunt? Oh, I forgot I rolled two more dice. Uh, let me roll those. That's that's important. Thank you. Finish oh wow, and they're both two more successes. So that's hey. six successes. All right, you run up to them. You deliver your message. <laughs> Where were they? I, I believe uh, f- further down that way, uh, in uh, in the heart of the meatpacking district. You have to hurry quickly. They're, they're causing quite a ruckus. I, I think I can hear them from here. We need to find them. They might know where Arvi is. All right, we have to protect her before this can go any worse than it already has. And then they rush off. Uh, 
probably fine. I we'll talk about a different RV. <laughs> I go to the front door and I rap on it. Uh, and it, it swings open. Ah, they appear to have been hired by what I assume would be uh, High Rock Sapphire. Um, they were intending to protect Avia. Perhaps we should, I don't know, try and figure that out? Or do you think we should just continue? I think the sooner we find her, the better everything is. Uh, maybe not muddy the water, right? I don't know. Very well. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll wait for Uber to come back. It shouldn't be too long. And then we can make our way. Then we'll, uh, we'll head towards the palace district. Very well, I'll be right behind you. Yes, I need Where to is the palace Uber district? Stealth. <laughs> He's just got to. He knows. He knows how long to stall for. He. We've done this a, a dozen times. He makes invincible two is fast enough around. that we can take the long way around and just find our way to the palace district. Are all three of us on the horse? <laughs> He's <laughs> massive. <laughs> That's a big horse. Just three dudes on a horse. Uh, he can I, fit me. He can fit you three. I, a lot of dice for one success for Uba's stealth. Oof. Oh fuck no! Oh no! Please Uba. no, George. <laughs> I want to see those your dice. Second session. It, he's gonna now, kill wait a that sec. monkey. Animal to animal. Invincible two has just been pampered like a king. Are we seeing Uba's botched escape? And can Invincible two, in a fit of camaraderie, attempt to save the monkey? Can this be the B plot of a '90s animated movie? Where the animals work together. <laughs> Horse and monkey. You see Uba running around one of the corners, and you see a couple mercenaries chasing after him, not with weapons drawn, just attempting to grab the monkey. Yeah, what is that? We're talking monkey, I want that. <laughs> Do you see that monkey? He said like Uba. More that, That's uh, awesome. Talking monkey is as noticeable as a large man and a horse and but he's smaller. I thought he could hide in the mid. <laughs> Not when he That's gets a he one, man. That was number dice. 62. Not but he gets rolled a 10 one. dice and got one success. Hey, man. Hell. God. Those 16 Uba, grapes this? really messed him up. God <laughs> damn it, Uba. His equilibrium's totally thrown. Yeah. Yeah. Too many grapes. <laughs> I guess I'm going to wave. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're looking as at soon as now. I hear them I chase, I, I duck behind a corner as soon as they Yeah, if you guys choose to hide, you can hide. Yeah. I can't fucking, I'm not gonna, uh, I don't think you actually exited the building, did you? No, I no. don't think we're outside yet. No, we were waiting for you to go down so we could feel. Well, here's the thing. If they left the front door, that's when we were going to come out the front. Yeah, that's why I thought mm -hmm. I would be out by now. Like I didn't. Yeah. So, but if well, we're out, we're behind move them. The cabbage, uh, the cabbage cart, and the everything. Cabbage cart's so you'll be able to actually right. get out of the way. I'm sorry. How important is the cabbage cart versus Uba? I, I mean, it's just for the guys. We're not seeing this if we're not. The, oh, the that, I guess that's fair because I was about to say like the cabbage cart is nothing to invincible. <laughs> it is an so afterthought. <laughs> What do you do? Oh, fuck. Well, I don't want them to kill my goddamn monkey. Uh, it's <laughs> that would Good sentence. be very fucking bad. Um, oh, fuck. I, 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 I have to, I have to get, I have to grab it. Oh, that's, that's mine. That's my monkey. Uba, over here, over here. Where did you find him? Oh, the little scamp, he ran off. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Did you find those people? Were they over there? Hmm. Behind him, the horse. Did you fucking do As this? As a laser came and laughed. Oh, he closed like... the door! Do, 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 do. We didn't find anybody yet. We found the monkey and we heard talk. We heard reports of a monkey in the area. You said this is your monkey. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> hmm. You know who I am, of course, I, I assume. I... <sighs> Nobody heard. Should I? Well, well, I don't know. Sinus mm, What Nadala? is your is that... name, sir? Sinus. Sin of House Sinus? Sinus Nadala? Yes? No? Sinus Nadala in the employ of Hierarch Devora? No, not, not in the employ of Hierarch Devora. I know of her, of course. I know of everybody. I'm quite connected, as, you, as you're probably So you are not there. working for her at present? Ah, it really is hard to keep track of everything. I do get around the city quite a lot. Um, but, <clears throat> actually, do you mind? One second, please. <clears throat> I'm I'm going to turn around and I'm going to knock on the door. Uh, the signal to get the fuck ready. <laughs> oh, I I open the door and fall out. Should we leave? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh shit! No. <laughs> because that was not something we discussed. It was literally yeah. we, you're, you're going to open the door. We're going to go. Yeah, no, you're... I think we're like go time. As no, soon that's as the you knock on it, we knock. rip that thing Pulse open. On the inside would know. Last, last, last push. You handed us a playbook of 115 plays. <laughs> I've only gotten up to like 15. What, which one did you do with the monkey? 62? Um, How many are in number, here? Number 14! Number 14 is the full page! Up. I didn't get into there yet! I'm a slow reader! You! Hi, hello. You were involved with the incident. I'm involved with lots of incidents, yes. Where is Arvia? Yeah. 
Uh, Arvia, uh... You see, f funny, funny story about that, actually. Who are you? Um, I found these guys, and because I, I told you about that, and they came in here, um, and they were missing something, and so I told them I would help them find it. <laughs> A giant hand slowly clasps around <laughs> Nadala's head. As it clasps around Nadala's head, I uh, step in front of uh, Rakim, and I just kind of nod to my associate, and I go, uh... I'm sorry, you are in House Sinis right now. We need to know exactly who are you before we answer any of your questions. You are in Nexus. The realm and their houses do not hold authority here. This is still a mercenary, right? Yes. Uh, I say you do not work directly for Nexus, and even if you do, what you are doing is a contract, much the same that we are doing. I Devora. It does not get much higher authority than that. Well, then Wait. we are in the same boat, my friend. That's, that's all we want to know. This is good. And I take my hand off of Nadal's head now. <laughs> so perhaps we should that? be asking fewer accusatory questions, and maybe we start working together. Arvia's safety is what we're after, yes? Arvia's not safe. Is well, hence why I ask, where <laughs> is Arvia? She was taken. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hmm? May I touch your cloak? Sure, of course. I mean, uh, it's not... No, 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 you. Uh, <laughs> sir, what is, what is your name? <laughs> we had something, a bit of a tussle with some shape-shifting nonsense. I just want to make sure we are talking to the right person. That's why I was being slippery with you before. I actually yeah. do nod to him. I say, this hmm. is... True. He holds out his cloak. I grab it and I give it a good, like, little tug, like, back and forth. <laughs> it tugs. Foolproof method. Yeah, uh, I, uh... Yeah, I touch uh, your hair as well, just to give, make sure. Yeah. Oh boy, I pull out my pipe and I start stress smoking. I, I, <laughs> I, I, as, a, I as Rakeem, know nothing about shapes of magic, so I'm just like, this is legit that I'm he learning. He pulls <laughs> off his helmet, revealing his bald head. <sighs> Damn. I think you have to rub his head, right? I mean, I think the other guy, as soon as hat came off, turned the turn different. So I think the hat uh, is enough. You know what? I think I think that does clear him. He he's definitely a mercenary working for Hierarch of Aura. That that clears that check. Very well. Uh, I'm Lau, and you are? Running out of time. I agree. My oh, friend, oh. the night, longer night. you refuse to cooperate with us, the more time we will lose. <laughs> Give us your name, or say good day. <laughs> 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 you son of a bitch. Double down! Double down! <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to enjoy our show. Come back next week for the next part of our adventure. Meanwhile, if you're ready for a live experience, follow our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash rpgblender, where we've just begun a new live paranoia game. And if you missed our past live episodes or are interested in some RPG tutorials, find us on YouTube at The RPG Blender. If you want to stay up to date on our releases, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at RPG Blender. Or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. We also have a tip jar and merch store if you'd like to contribute to improving this show. Links in the description. Music is The Punk Rock Show by My Free Mickey. Copyright 2012. Licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution License. Thank you again, and remember, there's gaming outside the Forgotten Realms.